Hello, good evening and welcome to the 7th Sussex Food and Drink Awards held here at Brighton & Hove Albion's magnificent Amex Stadium. Over 300 people from the food and drink industry across the county are here tonight to honour the best of Sussex food and drink. Yeah, I'm really proud to be here tonight at the Sussex Food and Drinks Awards. Um, I'm patron and people sort of said, what's your connection with, with, with this industry? And, and I guess for me, it's about being a farmer's daughter. Um, realising how important fresh produce is and how important it is to support local farmers and shops and, and the industry as well. And, and I guess the importance of, of good food really through the sporting line uh, and for our children as well. So it's a great night, it's a chance to celebrate what we have here in Sussex and to be really proud of what we have. Sussex has got some fantastic food producers and once again our newspapers and magazines are delighted and very proud to be supporting this awards evening and to be backing our local farmers and innovators on the food front. Not the finalists are here because they received the most votes from the public and their quality was then verified by a high power panel of judges chaired by Clyde Bedell OBE. The three finalists for the Sussex Drink Producer of the Year represent three distinct areas of drink production, one vineyard, one brewer and one producer of non-alcoholic drinks. It's Ridgeview Wine Estate. Thank you ever so much for this award. It means a great deal to us, um, especially being voted for by the public, um, who really make the decisions about the quality of our product. So, thanks very much. The best Sussex food or farm shop sponsored by the Sussex Food and Drink Network is the next award. The hungry guests from Petworth and the Sussex Produce Company from Stenning and Veezy and Sons of Forest Road. And it is Beasy and Sons. It's such a surprise. I honestly didn't think this would happen. I mean, in just under three years, we've achieved so much. It's absolutely incredible. Now, moving on to the award that's to celebrate butchers. And the finalists are Archers of Westfield, Brampton Butchers from Brighton, and John Murray Butchers from Oxford. But there is one butcher who will be very pleased to know he has one. And that's Mr. John Murray of Luxembourg. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't do any of this without my staff, and they are such a brilliant team. They've been with me for such a long time. Next is the award for the best Sussex farmers market, sponsored by Harvey's, Chichester farmers market, Lewis farmers market, and finally Stenning farmers market. It is. I'm very pleased to say. Lewis. Thank you to all the storeholders because obviously it's them that makes the farmers market. And uh, yeah, thanks and everyone who voted for us, thank you. Our next award is that for a uh, chef between the ages of 16 and 25, Charlie Taylor from the past at South Lodge Hotel in Horsham. Jimmy Gray from Jeremy's Restaurant at Bornhill Gardens. And Ryan Hunter from Wingrove House in Orchester. And it's Jimmy Gray. I'd like to say thank you very much for the judges and stuff for their for choosing me and stuff. And yeah, yeah, cheers. And the guy, the other chefs, the guy from South Lodge, I thought his food was outstanding on the day. I thought it was absolutely superb. But yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. We move nicely on to our next award, which is for the best Sussex eating experience, sponsored by Mayo Win Baxter. Cat in West Hoveley, the Ram Inn at Furl, Wabi from Horsham. The winner is the Cat Inn. Uh, it's a nice shock for all of us. Uh, thank you. It's the Sussex Farmer of the Year, Harry and Pip Goring of the Western Estate. Martin and Gundrala Hall from Montague Farm and Phil and Steve Hook on Longleaf's Farm. Martin and Gundrala Hall. <laughs> well, Sussex is a great county and to win a prize for farming in it um, is doubly fantastic. The Sussex Food Producer of the Year, sponsored by the Southern Cooperative. Caroline's Dairy at Siddlesham near Chichester, i.e. Wheels Dairy at Foster Canes, 
finally, just brownies from Partridge Green. Yeah. Once again, I will dairy. <laughs> Nobody who won last year won this year, but we're not going to win this year, so we're very shocked. Thank you. I'll shut up now. <laughs> I'd like to thank Sarah for her unstinting enthusiasm, as you can see. Firm steering hand and putting up with everything that running a food business throws up every year. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of the night. I'm Danny Pye for the night. Tonight's been our best. Sussex Food and Drink Awards ever. The food has been superb thanks to the Amex Stadium and we've got some brilliant winners and we're just absolutely thrilled with the way it's gone tonight. Well that's it for another year. We're all looking forward to next year and we start the planning almost immediately. So please look out for all the details in the local press. Thank you to the public of Sussex for supporting us and keep voting every year. See you in 2013 and 14. Good night.